Hi, this is Ashley Davis from HeliTuning.com and I'm just going to do a software demonstration of the Scorpion ESC programmer version 1.1 which you can see just there at the moment. Uh, what I've done is I've connected the USB cable to the ESC and plugged it into the computer and it's just waiting now for me to power up the machine which I can do with a 3S pack or more um, and then it's going to automatically try and select the COM port which you can see down here. Now I happen to know that I'm on COM4 for my particular machine but I'm going to leave this on auto detect. So we just plug the machine in now. There we go and it's connected and the first thing it does is it pops up a little message to say use 5 degree fixed timing when using helicopter mode because you get better performance which is something I didn't know until I plugged in the uh, ESC for the first time. So we'll just acknowledge that. So now we can see all of the various settings here. So we can run airplane mode, external governor mode, or heli mode governor, which is how I'm going to run. I've set my low voltage cutoff to 39 volts, uh, as this is a 12S machine. Low voltage cut-up type Cutoff type is uh, a cutoff to 50% of power, but of course you can just cut, uh, or you can have a pulse warning. So uh, I'm going to do the cut to 50% of power. Next one, current protection. That's whether the ESC will protect itself from over current conditions. You can have it on or off, as it says here. If you have it off, it voids the warranty. So we'll leave that switched on. Motor timing, it's helpfully set to 5 degrees here. Normally that would be auto, set that to 5 degrees as it suggested. The auto rotation bailout time, this is how long it will wait before it switches out of the fast spool up that you get uh, during an auto rotation. So I could auto rotate for 15 seconds and still benefit from a fast spool up. Then after 15 seconds it would revert to the normal speed uh, spool up time. As you can see, so that's 25 or 35 seconds, but we'll stick with 15. Beck voltage, choices here, 6.2, 7.4 or 5.4. Well, for this machine, because of the servos I have in it, 5.4 is fine. And then we have the governor P gain and the governor I gain settings. Now I'll just refer to the manual very quickly on I gain and P gain, just to give you a quick uh, note on what exactly what it says. I gain is integral gain and the higher number will provide a higher gain or tighter control. When I gain is too high you'll get tail swinging or wagging due to RPM compensation being too fast for your heli. If I gain is too low the RPM will drop more before the governor starts to compensate the RPM lost under load. And the P gain is power and the higher the number the higher power you'll get. So effectively P gain is how aggressive um, the speed controller is going to um, apply power to um, your motor and the I gain is how quickly it's going to compensate for changes in rotor head speed. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bump my I gain up a couple. So I've been running it at 5 and uh, I'd like to try it at 7. Uh, the rest of this I'm going to leave the same. When you're done making your changes you click the right to ESC button and then you get the message to say the ESC has been updated and you're done. And once you're done you can just unplug your pack like so. You don't get any notifications here that uh, you know, you've know unplugged or anything like that. You can now just shut down the program and the settings have been saved in the ESC.